as long as you're reasonably careful of cars, you can just mill around after the fray's finished. Basically, basically you can take advantage of the fact that many of the city streets are closed to cars and just walk. This is the procession route exit. And as you can see, they, they, as you can see, because they're going back onto regular roads, all the carriages gather here and wait for the traffic lights to change. <laughs> Although by this time, all the officials have gone, officials have got out because they have to, they go to the mansion house from here, so they've got out. If you can see, some of these coaches have a driver's seat and some of them do not. And on all the ones which have a driver's seat, the driver's sitting on the right. And the ones which don't have a driver's seat, the driver's sitting on the left. Um, this is actually why France drives on the right, because they originally drove on the left. And then they switched, then after the revolution, they switched to driving on the right. Um, because... Um, after the revolution, they switched to driving on the right um, because um, basically after the revolution, the the aristocracy had because the aristocracy had coaches with the dri coaches which had a driver's seat. The peasantry had coaches with no driver's seat, and so they switched to, switched to driving on the right to make it easier for the peasants and kind of rebelling against the aristocracy. It was the French Revolution, so... Um, and, and the reason why it spread is because of... It's literally because of two people. The reason why it spread to the rest of continental Europe is because of two people, which are Napoleon and Hitler. <laughs> um, basically, when Napoleon went on like a big campaign across Europe, um, he made Germany, where like the different principalities in Germany, um, like they had their own rules. My camera's gone blur. All of the principalities had their own rules, but when Napoleon conquered Germany, Napoleon standardised um, the Germans to drive on the right, and then spread, and then to spread it further east of there. Like it was spread to Austria after the Anschluss because Austria drove on the left until the Anschluss um, and Hitler wanted to have a standard driving side and beca because in, in Hitler's Germany after the Anschluss Germany's larger than Austria so in Hitler's Germany after the Anschluss um, he's, Hitler switched Austria to driving on the right um, and that was quite influential because also then, they, then around the same time, Hungary also switched to driving on the right. Um, um, while Hungary were, were uh, supporting the Axis in World War II, so maybe that's why they wanted to, um, they, like, solidarity with Hitler. Um, and um, is Hungary were supporting the Axis in World War II. Um, and, um, and, um, my camera's gone blurry again. There's not really that much to see. Um, and basically, it kind of continued to spread, um, around that area, especially, especially the fact that it had spread to East Germany and Hungary, then meant that, then meant that with the Soviet Union, the Soviet Union then standard when they got those countries then standardized to driving on the right because I think Russia also drove on the right um, and so that's why most of continental Europe drives on the right and Britain was never conquered by Napoleon or Hitler and we were never part of the Soviet Union which is why we drove on the left going in St Paul's normally costs about like 18 pounds one of the expensive things to do in London. But today it's free and they have security checks and there's huge queues. Now following the parade route, we're now exiting 
The Ring of Steel. The City Wall of London specially resurrected for the IRA. Hello? No, I haven't seen any terrorists so far today. Ding! Also, especially for this day, travelling on the Thames Link is free as long as you're only going between Blackfriars and City Thames Link. Um, and they need the barriers open. There's one day a year when in some continental cities they have they basically close all of the streets to cars. Um, they 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 close all of the streets to cars, um, and and you can just walk in the road, and it's it feels really nice. London doesn't have that. London London doesn't do that, but the city of London does it on Lord Mayor's Day. I'm nearly at the Royal Courts of Justice, that didn't take very long. Still with the London Instinct. But the London Instinct, it's what, and it, it's the way we find, it's, it's why we're all evenly spread out on the bus, because we always look, even if we're on our own, we always look for the pair of seats that's empty. We don't sit next to anyone. Um, and on a tube, we'd rather sit not next to anyone. Um, and so, and part of the London thing is, even when all the streets are closed to traffic, people still walk on the pavements, just instinctively. Let's go on some of the bits which are usually close to pedestrians. Like this tunnel at Blackfriars. You can't usually walk down here, but it's closed today. And here you can see this, si this 60s, 70s concrete. And here, the Victorian Bridge. And here's the station. You don't usually get to go up White Lion Hill. Unless, of course, you're in a taxi or driving. Oh. Just had to check that noise wasn't a vehicle coming up. Is it something coming up there? They're going down there. They're going, I can't exactly tell where. And this sanitary vehicle has already been to Queen Victoria Street. Because all of the all of the um, sand has been removed from here. These toilet opening times are incorrect. Same for both toilets. Both to close at seven today. But we're, it's still not closed. It's about five. It's, well, it's winter and it's not dark, so it's definitely not seven yet. There's a lot of beeping going on. Traffic jams in London when there's a Lord Mayor's show or an event like this big less like London, more like Italy beeping your horns at traffic jam is, is quite common in Italy in Spain it's rather rare here although it seems it, it's like it, people, well people Otis 
What are you doing, Otis? Are you replacing some lifts? You better not be modernising some good lifts into rubbish Gen 2s that, well, they say they last for 25 years, but what it really is, it's more like it slowly falls apart over a 25-year period.